what's up guys welcome back to another video with the math maker my name is jordan and today we'll be talking about time measurement i actually did make a past video on this and the sound sounded horrible so this is this is more of a redo video because the last video i made it you wouldn't be able to understand one word that i was saying and i'm sorry that the that the screen looks kind of slant, that the whiteboard looks kind of slanted. I actually hope that that helps. Um, so back to the video. I'm also I'm not able to post. I think I need a new editing app, and that might also help a little bit. Let me push this in a little more. Um, so then, um, time measurement is very important. I mentioned it in my um. Analog clock, um, first video, the first video I did about an analog clock, about minutes and hours and seconds, and how they work. But then I noticed that the analog, uh, that my time measurement video was, um, not working. So I wanted to do a redo so you guys don't get really too confused when I send you back to this video. So now, like I said, you have... I'm actually going to still be using a clock for this. You have minutes, hours, and seconds. Those are the ones, and here are the basic ones, because you have millisecond, nanosecond, microseconds, and so on. So then, that's what I'm going to do is starting out simple. So you have minutes. I'm going to start out with a clock. Right in the middle. You have 12, 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six, se seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now, this is your basic clock. Um, if you have an analog clock, that's what it would technically look like. So then, here's where I'm going to start out with the minutes, the hours, and the seconds. So... This long hand, it looks like I'm kind of doing analog clock, but this is now showing you. The long hand is the second hand, and the second hand goes by all of this 60 times. Not 60 times, it takes 60 times, so it starts here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12. The thing about an uh, analog clock, though, is that every big number you see, so this number, the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, they're all counted by 5s. So then, yeah, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So then, for every minute, you must have 60 seconds. There's 60 seconds in every minute. So then, here it is. So then, I'm going to write down all of the, um, um, all of the times and how, what, one is equal to. You have 60 seconds equal to one minute. Now, it's, that's the same thing for an hour. 60 minutes. equals one hour. I'm not sure if you ever have watched or heard of 60 Minutes. 60 Minutes is a program that um, where I live happens on um, on Sunday at 7 o'clock. So the meaning of 60 Minutes is to show you certain types of news and things that are happening around the world in one hour or 60 Minutes. So 60 Minutes is equal to one hour. So now, you might have heard 24 hours in a day. Well, that's true. So then you have, for every day, you would have 24 hours. 24 equals one day. 24 hours equals one day. And then, if you ever heard the meaning of 24-7, 24-7 is to show you that there is... Um, 24 hours in seven days, yeah, not seven days, but they're open all day for the whole week. So, the, um, 24 hours is equal to one day. 
So like I said, if you ever heard, um, we're open 24 hour, 24 sevens. That's meaning they're open every, they're open all day, every day. Kind of like Walmart. You, you kind of notice that they're always open if you ever pass by one. Well, at least that's my case for my Walmart. It's technically always open. It doesn't really shut or um, close. It's open. Or, and you can certainly say it's open 24. It's open seven days a week because it always is. So now, like I said, for, one, for every seven days, there's a week. You have one week. Now, now this isn't perfectly accurate, but this is a, not an estimate, but this is around what it would be. Now, we're going to jump to months, and here's where this might get a little tricky for some people, because I'm also going to do this in days, but we all know that the months are never the same. For, Feb for February, you only have 28 days, and if you have leap year, then it's 29. But then you have other months that's 30 or 31, which means they are all around four weeks. Four weeks and a few days ahead, but it's usually 40 weeks. Not 40 weeks, I said, I mean four weeks. So for every, for every um, around 30 to 31 days equals one month. I'm going to just put MT for now because I'm also going to put this. For every four weeks, it's also one month. Because that's what it kind of is. If you ever look at a calendar, you never really go past four weeks. Yeah, you might go past a few days, but you're never going past completely... F um, Like, you're never going to hit five weeks. So then, for every, t for every 12 months... Oh, no. Let me do this. For every six months, you have a half of a year. So then six months, you have a half of a year or a semi-year. I like calling it semi-year. Equals a half of a year. I put YR just for that one because I started to hit into the clock. So for every um, 12 months, you will get one year, one common year. So for every 12 months, you get one common year. It's equal to one year. But I'm just going to put one year. And now we're going to hit the year. So now for every year that you, for every... For every four years, you have one leap year. So every four years, it's one equal to one leap year. Why do you think whenever, if anybody's watching this and their birthday is on February 28th, I mean, February 29th, why do you think it's on, it's not, why do you think you can't have a birthday on February 29th? And when I mean you can't have a birthday, I don't mean you can't be born. I mean, after you're born, your parents have to decide if you want your birthday on March, 1st of March, or the 28th of February, because you only have a leap year every four years. If that was how it's supposed to work, if I was born, um, then if I was born a leap year, when everybody else is like 12, you, you would only be saying, I, I'd only be able to say I'm three years old, which wouldn't make any sense because I look like a 12-year-old. I have the age and the hormones of a 12-year-old, but I was born on a leap year, so then I'd only be able to say, oh, I'm four. Or I'm free because everybody else is 12, so I'm free. But no, that's not what works. That's why whenever you have a leap year, that's when somebody decides to. That's why I think your parents or the doctor or somebody 
says your your child was birth on February twenty eighth or March first. Because that's that's the only thing you can do unless you want to have your birthday only every four years, which wouldn't really work out if you think about it. You're having your birthday only four years, so then if we go over here for every ten years, ten years, you will have one. You will have one decade. One. And I think it is, like I said, um, 10 years. So then a lot of people could be one decade old. So now for every 100 years, 100 years, for every 10 decades, 100 years, dec, or 100 years, you will be one century old. And, like, and if you ever think of it, nobody really... No, not too much people get to be one century old. So now, and here's the last one, and I know that nobody has ever actually able to hit this age. For every 10 centuries, Every 10 centuries, 100 decades. So if you kind of guess when I did 10 instead of just 100 years, it was one century. So the only thing is I'm not sure if you guys will know what um, this one is. In 1,000 years, you will have one millennial. Millennial means um, 1,000 years, if you're talking about it in that way. if you You can also talk about millennial as somebody who, of a young age somewhat. The definition um, can mean two different things. So, like I said, millennials, another definition for millennial is... Um, Somebody who's in the early 20s, um, or who is in a very, um, young age, technically, when you are a very young adult, is another definition for millennial. So, like I said, millennial, that would technically be anybody, like I said, who is in the young, or yeah? Technically, you can say young, uh, young, tw young twenties or like older um teens, like eighteen, nineteen. That's what you can also call a millennial. I hope you guys like this video today. Please do not forget to like and also subscribe if this is one of your first time watching any of my videos. Also, touch the notification bell so you can get more updates when I publish more videos. Also, comment down below if you have any questions or if you want me to do a certain math video. Or if you want to, uh, or if you have any comments. Or also, if you want me to try to like the anime on video instead of me standing in front of the board. Thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day.